Hello, NABO members. This month's message is about influence rising. And today I have with me Hetty Ratner, who's going to educate us on how together we can have a stronger voice to affect change on legislature that affects our business. Hetty Ratner. And Jonathan, thank you very much. NABO and the Women's Business Development Center have been partners for many, many, many years, both locally and nationally, and have been working on major issues that can help women-owned businesses be successful. But I think so many of us as women business owners spend so much time developing and expanding and working on our business that we don't realize how much public policy affects what we do and how we do it and the impact that it has on our business. Issues such as access to health care, access to capital, access to business resources, as well as access to business opportunities. And there have been major issues where NABO has been in leadership and we have worked together, but we need your help as well. It's really critical that women business owners work together because together we can have so much more impact. As we're seeing in this year's presidential election, bringing social networks together and bringing people who have interests, common interests together can really have an impact on who gets elected and what are the issues that they address. And that's really our job with NABO locally and nationally to influence the decision makers so that they are addressing our issues and our needs. For instance, access to capital, especially in this economy, is a major issue. And we're looking to financial institutions who are now pretty risk averse to be able to borrow from them so we can expand our businesses. The problem is, as the banks are risk averse, the Small Business Administration as a government resource has been doing guarantees on those loans to take some of the risk away from the banks. And yet, we need to be sure that the Small Business Administration continues those government loans, those government guarantees, so that those loans are accessible. And we need to work together to be sure that that happens. The other is the issue on federal procurement goals. We have had the goal of 5% for women business owners at the federal level since 2000 by legislation. And yet, at the federal level, we have not reached those goals and it has been very difficult to get the federal agencies to implement those goals. It is really now up to us to be sure that those that there is a women's procurement program and that those goals are met. Those are just two examples of what needs to be done to ensure that women business owners continue to grow and be successful. And we need your help to do that. Thank you everyone and together we have a voice.